What's up guys, this is Cam Jack here, and today I'm gonna address a little issue I've had a lot of people, you know, come up to me with, and that is how to install bloody mods with the overlay system. Now, if you know me, I generally don't use the overlay system, I'm kinda lazy. I just kind of uh, overwrite all the files in the vanilla packages here to the mods in another install so I can just uh, run this version of Running With Rifles and the mod will be installed. I like to do that but I know most people like to use the overlay because it's better. Uh, frankly there's no reason to do it the way I do it, I'm just weird. So what you're going to do is you're going to download the mod, whatever the mod file is on the forums. I'm just going to use bolters because that was lying on my desktop. So here it is. And you just get a folder in there, and if you look inside, you get a bunch of things. This is identical, pretty much, to the layout of the vanilla. This is the directory you're going to be in, whatever program you want in. So these are almost identical, right? You can tell. Maybe desktop I and I. Don't know what that does, actually. Haven't looked at it yet. So, this is how you do it. Go back to the main one. Obviously, you're going to need some kind of .zip or .rar extractor. So, I use 7-zip. You should use it, too. Free, I believe. Yes. And you're going to go into your root file for Run With Rifles. Go to Media. You're going to go to Overlays. Now, if you see, I already have a couple of mods installed. Well, Invasion is a kind of a default mod, so this should be here already. Do Metal PvP is something that you don't have to worry about. And you can just drag and drop that right in. There you go. You don't want to touch this folder. You're not putting the zip folder in here. You're not opening this up. Oops. Not opening up the mod and dragging all these in there. You're just putting the next file up in the tree. So once that's in there, you'll see that these are all kind of similar. You know, they've got a bunch of things in it. Except Bolters has more. And then that is it. So you're going to have to execute this ex executable. Not that one, sorry. That's running with rifles. Watcher. You're going to want to run that one, which is on link to my desktop. But I'm just going to click it here. Make sure you click the right one, because if you have multiple like I do, which you probably don't, like with mods and pre-release, you're going to need to make sure you're not in this folder. But anyways, so now it's starting to load. <coughs> there you go. And you'll say, hey, why... Why is nothing changed? Well, that's because you have to activate each mod for every map you want. So let's go back to the main menu. And you're going to say change map and resources. Now, under each of these maps, you're going to have the mods. Now, you can set up mods and you can turn on or off. So let's do that again. Let's change to uh, Alien Coast. We'll set the mod up and we'll turn bolters on. That means it'll only be on for this map this time and for future times. And then you say, click change. Now you'll reload the game, lag, lag, cause I changed maps. Um, you wait and it should be done. However, remember that if you do change maps again to something you haven't activated, running with bolters on or whatever mod you're playing, it won't be activated. So you have to go to that map, go to that screen I just showed you, and activate it again. Give it a little time here. Loading, 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 loading. There we go. And there you go. And the mod is activated. Woohoo! Yeah, that's a weird layout. But yes, I hope this clears up some of the stuff. Just to go through it one more time again. Change map and resources. You're going to want to pick a map, whatever map you want. Notice that these have zero setup mods, which means that none of them are activated, while this one I'm playing on has one, being running with bolters. So if I were to switch to, like, St. Anne, I would be playing vanilla running with rifles. If I wanted to play with running with bolters, I'd have to flip this on and then go back and then hit change. And it'll reload. And next time I play Lillian Coast, it will also be on. So you're going to want to deactivate it. You know, it's a, it's a switch system. It's pretty basic and easy to get used to. Um, just don't forget to turn these mods off when playing online. Because that will ruin your connection. I think it will just kick you, honestly. 
yeah, I hope this uh, video helps out with all you guys trying to install mods. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a good night.